Jamaica is at a place where we can have this kind of first world facility. 20 years ago, I would have seen this in the Middle East and it would be a curvy system. No, it's a tank well system. We don't have to have a foreign company do it in Jamaica. Tank well and the rest can do it. To give you a reason why Wisinko has gotten to where we have gotten, we have, we have a bunch of really down-to-earth executives who work very closely with our most important asset, our people. The equipment that you see, the big warehouse that you see, is nothing without the people of Wisinko. And for years, I would say 60, 65 years almost, we have been nurturing our people with values that are important to us, compassion, humility, integrity, respect, and we speak those words to our team. We, we're on the ground with our team. We have extremely valuable execs as well, Mr. Devon Reynolds, who handles all our production. Um, and, it's, and he has been a, a real stalwart to this company as well, Devon. And I want to congratulate uh, Andrew and William for the kind of company they've built. I have to know that this company is built on very strong Christian values. They have a very good history and so the ethics and the, the caliber and the kind of um, commitment that they have to high um, governance structure and arrangement is really family in, in built. This wonderful warehouse and of course as a Minister of Industry, Investment and Commerce I'm going to call all the names. First of all, we drink the water that they make. It is Tankwell, another Jamaican company that built all this huge warehouse. Barnaby Engineering put in all the racking, which is stupendous. I mean, I look at the racking, I don't know, it must be 12, 15 feet high. And, and the Jamaican engineers I've seen here, the, the fellows and, uh, who, and maybe some ladies who drive and their particular, um, what do you call the things that lift up? Um, forklifts. The forklifts. They're, they have, you have to be specialized because they're, they're very high. But why I'm saying this, and why I'm out here, is to say Jamaica is at a place where we can have this kind of first world facility. 20 years ago, I would have seen this in the Middle East and it would be a curvy system. No, it's a tank well system. We don't have to have a foreign company do it in Jamaica. Tankwell and the rest can do it. And, and what we're doing in Jamaica, they have moved from distributorship to manufacturing. And I'm here this morning with my Jamaica shirt and my Ministry of Industry Investment, the Ministry of Business shirt, to say, all right now, Andrew and William, you've done this great. I know you're exporting. But I really want to see you and your fellow uh, businesses in the Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association take on export. Pull down, we have a 4.5 billion US dollar gap in our export. In other words, we import 5.975 billion and we export 1.441. Therefore, there's a 4.5 billion dollar gap. It is entrepreneurs businessmen, investors like um, uh, Andrew and William that are going to change this. I know, Andrew has just told me, and William had mentioned some weeks before, that they're going to expand another huge building, putting in hundreds of millions, maybe over a billion dollars uh, more investment in Jamaica. I'm encouraging this. I'm pleased to be here, and I'll come back often and see how it's doing. But I want Jamaicans to be proud that we can have this here. Andrew and William have taken this to be one of the premier companies. As I said to you, this company has the ability to find a way of being a significant exporter. And the same way that they are a significant local manufacturer and distributor in Jamaica. We all, as manufacturers, have to find that secret that is going to take us to the export market. We have the wherewithal. The economy is stable. We can do it. We just have to share the ideas and figure out how we're all going to be successful. We're putting in a new water line. We're putting in a new beverage manufacturing line. We're putting in additional energy production. 
all of these investments uh, culminated in what is the highest level of capital investment as an organization Singa has ever done. And see so how much they put in already. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, so Minister, we're committed to Jamaica. We're committed to doing business in Jamaica and also to building our, our foreign exchange earnings through exports internationally.